Identification, please. My name is Lieutenant Elliot Beck. This is Detective Jennifer Morgan. We're the CSIs in charge of this investigation. Do you know where Detective Popsky is? No, I've called her three times. She hasn't returned any of them. Oh, this is becoming quite a habit now, isn't it? Well, let's get the party started without her. Detective, you were paged over 20 minutes ago. Sorry, I got here as fast as I could. I've heard that line before. How worried should I be, Detective? You shouldn't. Let's not waste any more time then. Lieutenant? Okay, so there's a lot of gunshot residue over there, so I'm guessing that's where the weapon was fired. And I also found a fresh fingerprint and a hair, and I'm gonna go take it back to the lab. Good work, Detective. Texting on the job? That better be no less than life saving. Sorry, um, victim, male, late 30s, probably out for his morning jog, four gunshots to the head, three of them through and through, and one is still lodged in there. Can you tell me when this happened? Judging by the blood pool and the body temperature, I'd say a little over an hour ago. It's a beautiful day to solve a murder. Fun. Get your feet off my table. Name? You're wasting my time, David Miles. What are you doing at the crime scene today, Mr. Miles? Nothing, just take a walk every morning before work. How long have you been taking these walks? Ever since my wife died. So what caused you to stay a little bit longer today? It was a Friday, I just left track of time. Do you ever see this man running in the morning? Nope. Never? I don't like you, Mr. Miles. You're not telling me what I need to know. You're nothing to say. I'll be the judge of that. I'll talk to you later, Mr. Miles. Tell me it's David Miles. Just in time. The fingerprint belongs to a Stephen Greslam male, 28 years old, doing 60 hours of community service for the state. And the CODIS DNA report on the hair I found also pinpoints to a Stephen Greslam. We either have a witness or a suspect. Find him for me, would you please? Turns out our victim was a doctor named Keegan Parker. He works at the Wesco North Medical Clinic and has a few unpaid parking tickets and two DUIs over the last year. Alright, so we have a doctor that likes to drink. His family members live at Jackson and they have been notified. According to them, he was a good doctor. At least, good enough not to deserve four bullets to the head. Right. Beck. Steve Greslam is in interrogation room two. Thank you. Let's get right down to it. Talk. I, I, I swear I didn't do anything. I was just making my usual rounds, picking up trash. I walked up the stairs and saw the guy dead. Then what happened? What happened? I ran like hell. Why would you run away and not call for help? It's a big park. What am I supposed to do? Stand around and wait for somebody to come and blame me? Stand 
Morgan. The pictures you took of the crime scene. There's a shoe print, right? Uh, yeah. Can you describe it to me? It's like a male size nine shoe with uh, five triangular tread marks down the middle. Thank you, detective. Let's go have another talk with Mr. Miles. Yeah. I told you I'd see you again, Mr. Miles. What do you want from me? Tell me how your wife died. What? You heard me. Brain cancer. Who is your doctor? What does this have to do with anything? Let me guess. Dr. Keegan Parker. He diagnosed your wife with brain cancer a little too late than you would have liked. She died under his care. So you want revenge. You follow this guy around for a year, but one day you decide to be brave. So you put four bullets into the man who killed your wife. You have no evidence of anything. Actually, I do. It's been here all along thanks to your rude manners. What? You claim you don't know the victim. That's a lie. You claim you never see him run, yet your shoe print was pointing where the victim fell. Every time you shoot your gun, gunshot residue is scattered. If I were to take your shoe down to the lab right now, I'd find GSR on it. Wussex has told me that the murder weapon is the gun registered under your name. What now, Mr. Miles? He deserves what he got. And you deserve a nice long stay in prison. Goodbye, Mr. Miles. I'm the best attorney in the state. I'll be out in no time. And I'm the best CSI in town. I'll be waiting. They call me the seeker. I've been searching low and high. I won't get to get what I'm after till the day I.